I'm an urban ecologist, a type of scientist who studies nature in cities. You heard that right, nature in cities. Now, although a city may not be the first place that comes to mind when we think of nature, our cities are surprisingly wild spaces. They're home to so many different types of plants, animals, and insects. And urban ecologists like myself, well, we wanna understand how living in cities is impacting these species. But we also wanna understand how living so close to this wildlife is affecting us humans. Today, over 55% of the world's population lives in an urban area. And guess what? That number continues to grow, right? And as our cities grow and expand, the work of urban ecologists is going to be really important for helping us to design cities that are good for both biodiversity and humans alike. And this is why I wrote Chasing Bats and Tracking Rats, because I want as many people as possible to be excited about the wildlife they share their cities with and understand why it's so important. But I also wrote this book because as an urban ecologist, I love sharing how I do my science. In Chasing Bats and Tracking Rats, kids will be introduced to eight different urban ecologists. They'll hear about their work, they'll learn about urban ecology, but they'll also learn about the process of how scientists do science. And I've even made a point to highlight some of the wackier tools that we use in the process, like a bike that one scientist rides around her city to help collect data. But most importantly, I wrote this book because I want to get kids exploring and thinking about their own local biodiversity in their neighborhoods. And so at the end of each chapter, I've included challenges that get kids outside and adventuring. I'm incredibly excited for this book. I hope you are too. And I hope you'll pick up a copy when it hits shelves in November. <laughs>